Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. So today what we're going to be doing is diving a little bit deeper into Hot Zone and we're going to give you guys the top five brawlers in Hot Zone. Now it took me a little bit to create this list. I played on every map a little bit each day about 20 to 30 minutes just trying to get a feel for what brawlers are good on what maps. You know if brawlers are good on multiple maps or just one of them. And I feel like we have a pretty accurate list as for what the top five is. Now, just like every list, we're also going to give a few honorable mentions just because, you know, we don't want to just tell you guys five brawlers and say only play these five. There are obviously other good brawlers that didn't make the top five that are very playable and very good in hot zones. So we do like to add in those honorable mentions. So that being said, with that being said, we're going to start off with the honorable mentions and let's start off our list. Okay, so coming in with our first honorable mention, we have the big boss himself. We got Frank. Now, Frank, very obvious reason as to why it would be an honorable mention. You know, it's not a really great control brawler, but it is a big boy. If you have that star power, you got 10,000 HP. That's a lot to remove from this little kind of little circle thing. It's really useful for in situations where if you have like 5% left that you need to cash in, you can kind of just walk in and tank a bunch of damage. But additionally, the size of the circles are basically range, uh, the Frank's range, and you can do a ton of damage and really hold down that positioning really, really, really well. Um, the only downside with Frank is that I do see him as kind of like a super feeder. So sometimes, you know, when the other team does, you know, have a lot of damage happening or if they have a Barley or a Brawler that you can constantly chip off the Frank, they're going to be able to really easily get a super, such as like a Sandy, and just absolutely start to dominate the game and cycle super. So this, this is the only reason why Frank wouldn't be in the top five. Besides that, he's a very good Brawler, just like he is in every other mode. Same downfall, same upside, and that's going to be our first honorable mention. So coming in with our next honorable mention, we have Gale. Now Gale is very simple. Um, it does have one really useful piece, or I guess two. The gadget obviously is incredibly useful. When there's double hot zone maps, you got one that's close to your spawn, one that's far from your spawn. You can just launch into the one that's far from your spawn just as fast, if not faster, as they can walk into their close one. So obviously that's really useful. And then you have your push or your knockback, where if they're in the zone, you need that quick percentage. You want to be, you want to get a little bit of a lead. You can very easily just push them out of the hot zone. Now the downside with Gale is you can't really win a lane alone unless you're against like a kind of mediocre brawler. Uh, it's pretty hard to win lane on your own. It's more of just like a support brawler, and that's the reason why we're going to put it on the honorable mentions can't really carry its own lane so that's why we're going to leave it there and that is going to be it for gale okay so coming in with our last honorable mention we have bow now bow is pretty good as you guys know has some pretty decent hp has some pretty decent damage but obviously the reason why bow is on this list is its mines the mines cover up like half of the hot zone and they are incredibly hard to dodge if you want to stay in that hot zone um, again, it's more of like a support brawler. So although you can win a lane alone with with bow, it's very dependent on if they hit your bow mines. And if they're not, it gets a little bit difficult to win lane. So it's not like a really, really big brawler such as a Frank where you can just manhandle a lane. It's something that's really good for a support, something that, you know, you shouldn't stick to a lane that should go side to side, kind of just help out wherever is needed. But nonetheless, it is a really good brawler and it is going to be our last honorable mention. So coming in and starting off our top five, we have Nita. Now, Nita is a really, really good brawler. Um, probably would be in the top three if not for that one removed gadget. Now, I do go down here, actually, because that Frank kind of outplayed us. Now, again, Frank is like kind of like a big boss. And although it did win lane, like I said, it normally would, I am one shot off my super. And that's where Nita starts to become very interesting. So everyone is kind of afraid of the Nita gadget. Everyone knows Nita has one of the strongest gadgets in Brawl Stars. And as you guys can see, we're able to get consecutive bears and get that Frank really low. The Frank's kind of just charging our supers at this point. And we're able to win lane completely once we get that Nita bear and push the other team really far back, force them to shoot and not regen. It's a really, really good super, and it Nita, it just makes Nita a really fantastic brawler. Outside of the gadget, obviously, it still has really good use for like body blocking or pushing people back, but again, it is a really, really good brawler. Now, although it is very good for winning lane, you can struggle at the start of game against tanks. You can struggle against when uh, multiple opponents are in your lane. So that's why we're gonna just have it at number five and not on the top. Again, if it had three gadgets, probably would be top three, but it doesn't, which makes it a little bit harder to win lane consistently. And that is why Anita is going to be the number five brawler for us today. Okay, so coming in at number four, and personally, one of my favorites is Sandy. 
Now, Sandy's a very interesting brawler when it comes to hot zone because it's actually very useful and probably the best support brawler you can have. Now, there are kind of two different things when, you, when you're playing hot zone that you have to look out for when you're choosing a team composition. You have your lane winners. So people like, or brawlers like Frank, for example, BB's up there, just brawlers that are really good at just holding down a lane. And then you have people who are just gonna help out your lane winners. And you usually wanna have two lane winners and one support. And the best support is going to be Sandy. Now, Sandy can do really well on a lane. Um, but it is even better as a support obviously the sandstorm is what is so effective you put that down especially if you have the star power they're not allowed to be in that zone and regen for what I think it's like 12 seconds or something like that it's absolutely brutal and to be honest you can just cycle them over and over and over because there is a tank meta in hot zone or at least a little bit of a buff meta in hot zone so you can just cycle supers over over and over again it's completely broken it's really really awesome and really really cool and sandy is most likely the best support um again we haven't played too much hot zones so we're not 100 percent sure but so far it's absolutely dominating and that is why i'm going to put sandy at number four on this list now the top three brawlers are all absolute destroyers when it comes to lane and that's what i feel like is the most important thing in hot zone so although we do have the best support at number four i feel like it's important to be a good lane winner rather than being a good support so with that being said we're going to go into our top three and show you guys the top three lane winners in hot zone okay so coming in at number three we have pam and this one is probably my favorite brawler on the list when it comes to hot zone because i feel this brawler has the best 2v1 ability so with pam i'm definitely going to be using the second star power which hurts them if they're anywhere in the turrets range now if you guys can just look at the screen right now it's fairly obvious that the turrets range is actually even bigger than the hot zone range so if you're putting that down in the middle there is nowhere that they can enter the hot zone that won't hurt them now i feel like pam easily has the best 2v1 ability because you can hit multiple people you have this tick that doesn't allow them to regenerate health you have a lot of health your gadget gives you a lot of health and you just have that range where you can step out of the hot zone for a little do whatever as you guys see we got a sandy and an m's and anita around me very strong bra but because of the gadget the heals and the ability to 2v1 we're able to stay alive um very good brawler i could see it being number one if pam was a little bit stronger um pam really isn't in the meta too much it is for hot zone but besides that not really if pam was a tiny tiny bit stronger i could totally see pam being the number one brawler in hot zone but we're gonna have to leave it at number three for now because we just have two better brawlers at the moment so that being said let's hop into the top two and let's get into number two okay so coming in at number two we have bb now it's fairly obvious as to why BB is, you know, where it is. We can you can just absolutely run through people with that shield. You don't need the speed at all. You just put up that shield. I forgot exactly how much HP it gives you. It's somewhere if you have the total shield and you do not take a hit, you have somewhere between like 9,000 and 11,000 HP. I don't know exactly which number it is. I haven't checked in a while and I haven't checked the recent buffs and nerfs for this since the math, original math was done, but it is somewhere there. And on top of that, you have the heal gadget, which you can use three times, which is 500 heal per second, I believe for a little bit or per half second. So I think you gain about 3,000 health from it. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, and it's just super easy to hold the zone. As you guys can see, these brawlers just can't kill me. And every time they come close, I just bat them away. I say, get out of here. You guys aren't allowed. Um, it's super, super easy. As you guys can see, these guys can't even contend with me. Super easy. It's just to the point where I'm just running into their spawn. And just at this point, they've given up. They know they can't get into the zone with the BB there. And it's just such an amazing lane win brawler. Easy 2v1 ability as well. And I would 100% recommend using it. So that is going to be our number two. So we're going to hop into number one here. And this should have been no surprise to you all. But let's hop into the number one and let's show you guys what it is. Okay, and coming in at number one, we have M's. Now, this is a little bit of a weird game to show you guys. A lot of YouTubers, um, they play a lot of games until they can show you, you know, just the best game that they can play. They play like half an hour. Unfortunately, we do not do that over here. Unfortunately, we like to show you guys some real gameplay, some real stuff that happens. So we are facing a really good comp. We are facing a Jackie, a Pam, and a Brock. And a, and a Brock brings like kind of an ability where you can win lane if you hit your shots no matter what. And it's it's like this on every single mode. It's very tough to hit a to beat a Brock that's hitting shots. So that Brock did hit some shots on us. We got 2v1 by the Pam. So unfortunately, we didn't have a free lane. But M's is just an absolute beast. Her super covers the entirety of the hot zone and will give you heals or additional damage to your shots. Um, as you guys can see, we 1v1 that Pam fairly easily. The gadget's incredibly strong, can push them out of the hot zone. Can bring you to can bring them to places where you can do mass amounts of damage i mean ems is just a very very good brawler when it comes to hot zone very tough to beat. it's as if hot zone was kind of carved for ems to be the best brawler 
it's just super super good very very difficult to beat and again m's counters tanks it is a tank meta so obviously m's does perform extremely well but anyways that's going to be it for our list those are kind of the top five brawlers but kind of the top eight if you include the honorable mentions i hope you guys did learn a lot from this video as i always hope you guys do i hope you guys absolutely destroy hot zone if you want hot zone to stay in the game play the mode because what happened last time is not enough people played so they removed hot zone so again if you want it in play hot zone let me know what you guys think about hot zone in the comment section down below but again that's going to be it for me today i will catch you guys again tomorrow see you guys there peace